Hello students, in this session of biology we are going to discuss microbes in human welfare. It is a very interesting topic and many aspects of this topic are related to our day to day life. So let's begin with microbes. Microbes or microorganisms are very tiny living organisms which are too small to be seen without microscope and yet they are found abundantly on the earth. They include bacteria, fungi, protists and even microscopic plants such as algae. Microbes like bacteria and many fungi can be grown on nutritive media on which they form colonies which can be observed with the naked eyes. For example, this is a colony of streptococcus which is a type of bacterium. It is developed on agar agar gel in a petri dish. Similarly, this is a penicillium colony. Penicillium is a kind of fungus. So as we already discussed that microbes belong to diverse groups of organisms, bacteria, fungi, protozoans, microscopic plants, viruses, virioids, prions, etc. While microbes are casual agents of most of the infectious diseases, they have also been in use by human beings and nature in many important processes which take place at our homes, industries, agriculture, sewage treatment, etc., which we are going to discuss in this session. So let us start with the utility of microbes in food processing. One such field in which microbes are very important in food processing are dairy products. Lactic acid bacteria, whose scientific name is Lactobacillus, are added to milk. It converts the lactose sugar found in milk into lactic acid and thus changes milk into curd, yogurt and cheese. The starter which is used in preparation of milk products actually contains millions of lactic acid bacteria, which are also known as LAB in brief. The Indian curd is prepared by inoculating cream and skimmed milk with a type of bacterium known as Lactobacillus acidophilus at a temperature of about 40 degrees centigrade or less. Curd is more nutritious than milk as it contains a number of vitamins and organic acids. Similarly, yogurt is produced by curdling milk with the help of Streptococcus thermophilus and Lactobacillus bulgaricus. Both of them are types of bacteria. Another important dairy product is buttermilk. It is an acidulated product which is formed by inoculating skimmed milk with starter culture of Streptococcus cremoris, Streptococcus lactis, and Lactophilus acidophilus and Leuconostrox species at around 22 degrees centigrade temperature for about 18 months. These are various types of bacteria. In the preparation of sour cream, the inoculation is done with Streptococcus lactis for producing lactic acid and Leuconostoc cremoris for imparting characteristic flavor to it. Cheese consists of milk curd that has separated from whey or liquid fat. Cheese is of three types. The first one is soft cheese which consists of 50 to 80 percent water. Second type is semi hard cheese with about 45 percent of water content. And the third type is hard cheese with less than 40 percent water. The method of preparing cheese with the help of microbes was well known in Asia and Europe even long before Christ. Large whole Swiss cheese is ripened with the help of carbon dioxide producing bacterium known as Propionibacterium shermani. The Roquefort cheese uses a type of fungus called Penicillium roqueforti, while Camembert cheese uses Penicillium camemberti for ripening. In the preparation of bread, selected strains of Saccharomyces cerevisiae is grown on molasses. It is also known as baker's yeast. The kneaded flour is then kept at a warm temperature for a few hours. It swells up. This phenomenon is known as leavening. Leavening is caused by secretion of three types of enzymes by the yeast. They are amylase, maltase and zymase. The leavened dough is baked 
and both carbon dioxide and ethyl alcohol evaporate, making the bread porous and soft.